The magician steadies, drawn directly inside of her. Lights are blinking. And we're about to see them go in the third. They're away and they're racing. And Pike is just going to allow Galaxy Star to amble back into the field in the early stages. Corporate Larrikin was the first to jump away and burn straight to the lead over Master Magician Woodsville. And very tempting. Shintamati down on the inside at the judge, just in front of Dude Man Bro. And then Galaxy Star at the ready, followed by Middle Earth and parked out the back in the early stages. The big fellow missile launch as they head through the crossing. Less than 1,600 to travel. Corporate Larrikin will take them over to the back and into the teeth of this headwind and settle a length and a half in front of Master Magician Woodsville third. Then came Very Tempting, well placed by McGruddy at the 1400 post and on the rails next of all is Shintamani, three quarters Dude Man Bro. At the ready was covered by the odds on pop Galaxy Star. Then came Missile Launch, is tending to race a little keenly down on the inside for Carberry, back there on the inside and he had to check off heels there from its stable mate Middle Earth as Corporate Larrikin took them down the back of the track. Out by the 1,000 they go. The Great Southerner on top. Corporate Larrikin by three-quarters Master Magician. No change at all to the order. The tempo nice and steady. Woodsville third. Very tempting fourth. One and a half Shintamani. On his outside there came Dude Man Bro. Galaxy Star patiently handled by Pike. Back behind them. Five or six from the leader. Around it goes Middle Earth. At the ready got squeezed back on the rails. And last of all is Missile Launch. And six from the lead at the 600 metre mark. Where Corporate Larrikin brings them for home over Master Magician. On the inside, Woodsville. Now McGruddy pops out three wide with very tempting. She's starting to work into calculations. Trailed by Dude Man Bro. Shintamani behind them. Pike getting to work on Galaxy Star. Middle Earth dropped out. Missile launch follows the favourite. 300 left to run though. Very tempting. Surged up and hit the front from Corporate Larrikin. Here comes Galaxy Star gathering them up quickly though as Pike goes to work at the 150. Galaxy Star surges clear. Put paid to very tempting dude man bro she's coming away she records another victory galaxy star it's eight out of ten from dude man bro very tempting woodsville was fourth home from at the ready shintamani corporate larrikin missile launch got back there and didn't pass too many in the run on further back in the field came middle earth and master magician had finished tailed off number one the winner galaxy star and uh, she just continues on her winning way. It's a hat-trick, and it's now 8 out of 10. William Pike aboard for Grant and Alana Williams. The Redoute's Choice Mayor takes out the Blackburn Handicap at a first attempt at the 2000 journey. Number one, Galaxy Star. She let down very imposingly at the 200 post and went straight past very tempting. Dude Man Bro stuck on. But they were no match for the $1.55 favourite, Galaxy Star. She was simply too classy. Up there to 58 and a half today, adding further merit to her performance. She beats home Dude Man Bro by Blackfriars out of Miss Unikovsky, Justin Warwick and Lucy Warwick. And very tempting at number 10 in third placing by Redoute's Choice from Fit and Ready, Adam Durant, Sean McGruddy. Waiting on fourth now to come to hand here from the judges after the running of the third on the program. But uh, favourite backers with uh, no real cause for concern at any stage over the last 300, she dominated proceedings. Now the next, the fourth, the Amelia Park Lamb Handicap over 1,600 at 19 after two. William Pike will ride number seven broker as he searches for three wins in the first four races on the program. After booting Galaxy Star home to victory, let's get down to the yard. Here's Gareth. You'll have to bring it out, Bob. We're just having a chat to Bob Peters off air about the hats, but we'll concentrate on Galaxy Star. She makes it eight victories from ten starts. Uh, your assessment there, Bob? I was very pleased with her. Um, it was an experiment um, to make sure that she could run this distance and we knew what we had going forward. A couple of people said to me it's a big jump from 1,600 to 2,000, but on a breeding, I was fairly confident. I think you know what you're doing these days, Bob. No, no, I'm, I'm learning. So she goes out for a break now. How long will she be in the paddock? Uh, she'd probably about seven weeks, I'd say. And uh, then you sit down and when do you make a decision for her program going forward? Oh, well, she'll just come in with all of our carnival horses and um, we'll see what happens. Have you got any race in mind right now that maybe that you'll set her for? Uh, she probably wouldn't even make the field of the big ones. Um, 
he hasn't had enough racing or up high enough in the points. But uh, and then you you know on the way through, if you win one, then uh, you can get in. But uh, whatever's there, there's some nice mares races. What's her best distance after we've seen her this preparation and she just competed over the 2,000 metres, Bob? Oh, I, I, I would think, you know, anything. If you ask for the best distance, I would think about between you know, 1,600 or 2,000. That would be more her go than the shorter ones. Well, it's exciting anyway to have another really good one. Yes, it's exciting. I was uh, unfortunate. I've lost a mother and I always thought the mother was very, very good and... Uh, at least we got one filly out of her, and that's why we've taken so long and looked after this one. Yeah, she is a star. What about uh, very tempting? That was a good return to form, you could say, for, for the Oaks winner. Yeah, that's the best run since the Oaks. It's the first time she's really shown something. And uh, uh, for a minute there, it looked like she might have um, got up and won, but uh, she just probably needed the run. I think she was listening to the Sports Daily on Friday morning when you mentioned if she doesn't perform, she's going to the sales, Bob. Uh, no, she wasn't the one for the sales. Oh, which one was that one? one? Earlier, but uh, yeah. no, this, uh, she's going to the breeding barn. Well done anyway. I was thinking about um, that one race too, wasn't I? It's been a long day, Bob. Congratulations. Thank you. There's our champ, Bob Peters, joining us there. And um, Regal Moon, that's the horse. That's the one. Um, Brittany will catch up with Willie Pike to see what he had to say about that wonderful mare and Galaxy Star. Were you impressed? Absolutely. Yeah. She, just the way she motors home is, is quite impressive. Willie Pike just having a chat with Grant and Alana Williams and of course that gives them another victory in this training premiership. It's, it's an exciting uh, race to the finish, isn't it? Yeah, now it is. I think it's uh, two wins that two. now separates them and Adam Durant and both, both teams have a, a good lot of horses in today. We'll get a word from Willie Pike on Galaxy Star, a horse that's obviously so, so impressive. But Willie, today, the 2,000 metres, does she travel better for you on a slower sort of tempo than the 1,400 and 1,600? Yeah, she did today. Uh, and even, I think, turning the other direction to go for the longer distance actually really woke her up. She was really awake, even in her prelim today. And I think just, just tricked her a little and just had her awake today. How impressed were you today? You would have been confident coming in, but how impressed were you? I was very impressed. Uh, you know, first of all, one, we all thought she wanted the 2,000 and beyond, but just to come and do it is nice, and she's got a little bit of weight, so, uh, yeah, it was a nice effort. There's a bit of a debate going around, Galaxy Star, Enticing Star, who's best? Can you place one above the other? Not really. I think they're two different horses at this stage of their career. One's a real short, sharp, gives a real, uh, you know, you're a real good sectional, whereas this horse, she gives you a good sectional still, but it's different. She sort of whines, and once she hits her top speed, she really comes. So they're two completely different horses, but uh, hopefully while I'm on either one and they're not clashing, I'm, I'm smiling. You certainly are. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thanks for that, Willie Pike. They're catching up with Brittany Taylor. Galaxy star. That's eight victories from ten starts. And, geez, it's exciting just to have these gallopers racing around WA. And we've been pretty privileged lately to have... Horses like an enticing star, Galaxy Star, and also Fabergino competing during our winter months, Brent. Very exciting times. It's so great to see these well-bred, uh, quality gallopers going around here at Belmont through the winter and uh, brightens up a bit of a, a bleak and rainy winter days. Let's have a look at race number four in about 25 minutes' time.